Hello everyone, this is Lestat Daxter of Lestat Productions. I'd like to take a few minutes to show you how to use my Shoutcast board. First thing you want to do is res the Shoutcast board, res the land audio relay, and then you want to right click and choose edit on the Shoutcast board and bring up your build window and navigate to the content tab where you can see the contents of the board. The first note card is config, you need to bring that up real quick. You'll have a default color that you can set it to, which is one of the following that you see here. You have default text color, which is an RGB format. You have a club name, which is what you could set if you did not have a texture like you see here, a banner texture. You would set that to be your club name, and your club name will show up there in the text like you see on everything else. You have auto announce, which is the volume, which would be whisper, say, shout, or off. This will automatically announce new songs as they're being played. You have the auto announce delay time, which is pretty much how many seconds it takes for the streaming software to stream the song into Second Life before you can hear it. That is modifiable um, in a menu as well. You have the comms channel down here at the bottom. Now the comms channel is the same channel that needs to be put into the land audio relay. You can leave it default to 3000 if you wish. If you're going to be using multiple shoutcast boards on the same sim to set different parcels to different streams, then you need to change this. And as long as it matches the number under the general field here, uh, description field under the general tab for the land audio relay, you're good to go. And if your land is deeded, you're going to have to deed the land audio relay. If your land is not deeded, then it's fine the way it is. To deed it, you would just make sure that under group here, that it's set to the correct group as the land, the same one, and click share with group, and click deed. And then you would want to click deed there. Now you're done with the land audio relay and you can hide it somewhere. Let's go ahead and edit the board again. And now you have manager list. So now we can add managers to be able to operate your board. Here I have Zach Mayer listed. You can list as many as you want as long as each name is on its own line. Also you must use real Second Life names here. The name that the avatar used when they created their account. It cannot be a display name. And it must be underneath this line. Do not remove anything above here. So once you get all the names added, you can click save and it will reload the manager list. You have a radio stations note card that holds all your radio stations. Um, you'll notice that the entire line here is separated in the middle by an equal sign. Everything before the equal sign will show up on the button in the menu when you're changing radio stations and it will also be what displays under featuring right here. Everything after it is the land URL except for the HTTP colon slash slash part that's added by my script. So you do not need that. You need everything after it. Okay, once you're done setting up radio stations, you can save or close that note card. Uh, obviously save it if you added some. Now we're going to go on to adding DJs to the board. Each DJ needs their own note card inside the board with their own personal information on it. Um, I have included a few default ones for you to take a look at, and the first thing I recommend doing is dragging one of them to your inventory as a backup. Now I'll show you how to set this up. You have a DJ name, and after the equal sign, you put the DJ's name, and this can actually be whatever you want it to be. It's just going to be what displays under the featuring part right here and nothing more. Then you have a DJ stream. Again, do not put the HTTP part in there. But for the DJ stream, I have actually separated the URL from the port number. So usually, when you get a stream from a DJ, it's all in one thing. It would start with HTTP, and then it'll be a stream with a colon, and then the port number following that. Um, you pretty much just want to separate those and put the port underneath and their IP here. And once you're done, you would save it. Okay, and now you would go ahead and... Um, for example, let's say I was adding Zach Mayer, my manager, to this um, shoutcast board. You would name it exactly how his name is in Second Life, not his display name. And once you've done that, you drag him onto the board. It will reset, it will reload all your DJs. Um, now obviously his name is also on the manager list, so when he clicks the board, he's actually going to get the manager menu. If his name was not on there, so a normal, so say a normal DJ would come along and click the board, they will just get a menu saying, do you wish to log in, yes or no. But with all your uh, DJs added, 
say a manager came up and clicked the, uh, clicked the board for a menu or you. So when you click the board and get your menu, you're also going to get the texture and update and reset button that only the owner gets. A manager is only going to get delay, DJ menu, radio, and volume. When you click volume, this is when you can change it from whisper, say, shout, or turn it off. You'll have radio, which a radio will load all of your radio stations from your radio list note card. And you can choose one of them to change um, the LAN's URL. And then we'll go on uh, to delay, and I'll get back to DJ menu here. So when you go on into delay, delay is what was preset default in the config note card, but a manager or you can change it just by using the menu. So you can do this while the DJ is streaming and not reset the board. We go back to main. Let's go back to our DJ menu. Now, if a manager, say Zach, also is a manager and has a DJ note card in there or me I'm the owner and I have my own DJ note card in there um, for us to be able to log in we would have to go to this DJ menu and click DJs and here we would see a list of all of our DJs um, if there's more DJs than 11 you're gonna have a next and a back button so that way you can navigate through the multiple pages of DJs but if I wanted to log in I would find my name what's that Daxter and click it and after clicking it, there we go. It automatically logs me in. It would say DJ Lestat Daxter. And now I would be streaming. It would change the land URL to my stream. I'm going to change it back to a radio station. So let's go and pick the 90s hit station. Now we are logged out. And it is back to the radio station. Now, if a manager needs to add a DJ note card and you're away, what they would do is click the board, click DJ menu, and then they can click add. Now add will tell them in local chat that they need to set up the note card, then they need to hold the control key down, then click the note card and drag it onto the board. And they need to drag it above current song or previous song. If they drag it and drop it anywhere else on the board, it's liable that it will not end up in the root prim, therefore it will not actually be loaded successfully. So make sure that they drop it in the right spot of the board. Um, if they click the board, go back into DJ menu, they can also click remove. And then they'll get a list of DJ note cards that they can remove if they wish. Let's go back to the main menu. Um, let's go on to showing you how to change textures. You might have noticed earlier when we were in here, there were some textures. One being Lestat Idle Mind. Lestat Idle Mind also happens to have a DJ note card in here. Now, default is when a DJ logs in, this picture on the right hand side changes to their profile picture. But if they do not wish to display their profile picture up there and they have an alternative alternative picture, alternate picture that they would like to use, they may give it to you and instead of putting a period in front of the texture name, you put a underscore. So DJ note cards get a period and then their name and then their texture would get an underscore and then their name. And again, this is real Second Life names not display names. So when they would log in, you would see this texture load instead. Now you notice I have a banner, logo, and pick in here. Banner happens to be this banner across the top that says Lestat Productions in the background. Logo is this picture on the left hand side. Pick is the picture on the right hand side. And these again are just default pictures, like I said. So if you do not have a banner, you can go ahead and remove that. And then in the config note card, where you've seen club name, you can put a club name, like Illusions Nightclub. And you would save it, and the board will reset and reload. And when it comes back, you'll notice now that it says Illusions Nightclub up here in the display. Now, if you want to change your logo, which is the picture on the left again, we can drag a different texture in there. We want to remove the old logo and rename this texture to logo. All capital letters and it must be named logo. If it's not, the board won't even know what it is. And you can do the same with the one on the right. This says pick. Let's delete that one. Let's drag this one over there. Get that in there. And we'll rename that one. Like I said, this one has to be named PICK, all capital letters, just like logo. And then when it resets, boom, 
there we go. And, ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much, in a nutshell, how to use the Shoutcast board. If you need any uh, assistance, you can join the Lestat Productions support group. You can also send me an IM directly, and we will get it fixed for you. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.